Okay, so this is Les Beebe, and I'm in Medford, New Jersey, and he is a, a piano roll, a p player piano restorer, and he's done a considerable amount of work for a Cunningham Piano down in Philadelphia, and he happens to have this uh, unrestored Cunningham player piano that I'm here just to take a look at. Uh, it's original finish, and it has the original decal, which I'm really surprised that it does. Mm -hmm. Uh, so, let's, uh, can you give your analysis of this instrument as it stands? Uh, clean, uh, decent, construction-wise, real nice piano. Uh, the player and the piano action in all parts has to be redone. It's a real nice, uh, diamond in the rough, I call it. Yeah. And it's the best, best player out there with Cunningham. I've rebuilt hundreds of them. Yeah. And, and the action, uh, it's got a standard action in it. They're the best actions uh, there are out. So you got the best of uh, the, uh, both uh, things, the piano and the action. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, and you're suggesting for optimum performance that it would need a new, apart from the restoration of the pneumatics themselves, you'd have to have uh, a new set of hammers because, for one thing, you can even see moth damage at the end. Yeah, through the years it might have had a moth or two in there, but n n nothing severe. But yeah, new set of hammers, it, it'll enhance the tone of the piano, the sound, and also a new bass string would, would bring it uh, yeah. a lot more life into the bass section, too. Yeah, right. It's a real nice piano. Yes, it looks like, I mean, it, has, it hasn't it has been monkeyed around with very nah. much. Yeah. All right, well, so now I'm going to do a, a, a little sound test on, I myself hand-plated just a tiny bit, and... Um, the feel of the piano is actually pretty nice. I mean, it's, it's uh, you know, it would certainly need regulation. But oh, here's... It needs, uh, needs everything. Yeah. Here is, here is a very interesting... This is the... Uh, all right, here... Uh, this is... What is this? This is the pedal here. Is this the pedal? Uh, because this has more... And, and it would go soft or loud. It wasn't supposed to... It, yeah. was, it was nothing but a problem, and uh, it was this, and any piano that me or anybody else that I know I worked on always eliminated it. Yes, but you do have the bass treble, don't you? Yeah, they're all there. That's okay. All, now, yeah. now, what's very interesting is to me. Uh, all right, so you've got the. This is your pedal. This is your bass. Now, this will suppress the bass. No, let, what it does over here. Let me show you over here. Okay. It moves this. And it moves the bass hammers closer. So okay, so it's like a soft pedal in a way. Soft bass, yeah. It's yeah. a softer hammer blow. And over here, from from here up, is, is the treble. Oh, cool. All right. All right, we're still... Okay, uh, all right. Uh, can you believe this? I have low ba battery here. All right, so... So that so then you all the obviously the the other side does the same, same thing. thing. Mm -hmm. Okay, so then you have silencer. What does that you do? You push that, the roll speeds up, and it won't play. Oh. It's silencer. <laughs> this is fast. Uh, uh, make it go slower or faster. faster it's hard or, or, or so end up. Yeah. That's your tempo and your re-roll and play. Okay. Yeah. Uh, this makes it go faster and yeah, slower. Yeah. You, you, generally, you just don't even touch it. You set your tempo at 60, yeah, 70, or whatever. Yeah, but this is very interesting that you can adjust the well, speed. if you want speed. to go real slow, you do that. Hold yeah. it. And, and the same thing, you want to go faster. Does yeah. this fine adjust? Does it do a fine adjustment of tempo, or is it very gross? No, it's, it's actually, it had, it had no bearing on the tempo here at this point. Yeah. But as soon as you move this, it overrides this. Yeah, right. So it'll go real slow or real fast. But what I'm asking is if you override the tempo and you use this, would it... Oh, yeah, you you do it if just you put this on 70 and move this all the way over, it'll go up to 90 or 100, yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. But that's another thing. It's just a silly uh, sewing gimmick as far as I'm concerned. Well, you know, it's actually <laughs> nice to know. Yeah. Now, the keys have been replaced. Yeah, yeah. These look like, those look though, don't they look like uh, ivories? No? No, no, not? they're plastic. They're plastic. Unfortunately, when I opened the key bed, that's the first thing I said. I guess you didn't hear me. Yeah, no, I, I did. Unfortunately, yeah. somebody... Yeah, yeah, I did that years ago. Okay. okay. All right. So, uh, well, uh, and the side, so it has three pedals. These are the, now, does the middle pedal work the same way it does on no, the end? No, no. They're dummies on players. Yeah. There's, see, there's nothing there. Really? It's just a dummy? Yeah, exactly. Most, most players only had two. This is yeah, that's right. That's why. That's your saw. Yeah, that's why I noticed that. Saw. 
Yeah. Interesting. Now, does a so soft really work the same way as this? Well, it works the same way as both of them. It moves the whole hammer rail okay. rather than half of it. So That's another Soft word. bass, soft treble, sounds are and loud. Okay. okay. Interesting. Yeah. All right. Uh, well, I think, and, and of course it will realize the, uh, it, it will realize this is a, is this a pedal track here? The big, big, no, yeah, that's big for ones. the tracker. This is for the tracking tracker, magnet. Okay. This is the loud pedal hole right here. Yeah, okay. These are all um, note holes. All right, so this is for tracking as well? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. because it's not for snake bites. That's, I know that. Look at this. Well, snake bites are on a dual art reproducer. Yeah, I know they are. Yeah, yeah. yeah they are. Oh, yeah, and they're also on some of the uh, Steinways from the earlier yeah, days. Yeah, yeah, we built a lot of them. Yeah, they're, they're, yeah, I just finished one a few months ago. Went to, out in Pennsylvania. It's what? Steck duo art grand. Yeah. yeah, right, right. Well, do you think this has ever been restored? Uh, oh, it's been redone at one time, yeah. Yeah, but this is on its course. second. It's a, on that's, this. That's not original. Yeah, it's been restored many years ago. Yes, yeah, so this would be the second restoration. Uh, more than likely. Yeah. I would think, yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. Well, that's actually kind of exciting. Um, all right. So I think, have I. Now, oh, yes. So you think the pin block is good, and you also. Pins are tight. Pins tight. Okay. Now, what about the uh, soundboard itself? Does it need any recrowning or anything? I would, no. I would say no. No. Everything okay. looks good. Okay. If the soundboard lost its crown, you would virtually have like hardly any tone coming yeah. out. Yeah, okay. Yeah, now let me just uh, do a, a very quickly. Okay, that this isn't real good sound, but it will give an idea to how this sounds. Kinda, okay, kinda, okay. Any other comments you have about this? It's kind of unusual to hear anything up here, but most piano the last four notes you, it's like uh, nothing. I know. Yeah, yeah. if you get a, a very expensive, brand piano, uh, well made in decent condition, yes. But most piano the last four notes up here is nothing. It's yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. They would do nothing. Yeah. Well, it looks like it's been. Do you uh, do you know where it came from? Where this piano came from? I got that quite a few years ago uh, from a lady somewhere out in Philadelphia. A piano mover, a friend uh, moved it here for me. Mm -hmm. yep. Okay. All and right. I've just been here ever since. Okay. Well, this is all extremely interesting, and uh, I'll just take a little yeah. picture of this. Not that I know anything about this. <laughs> well, but it's all there. <laughs> it's there. That's it's what. All there. Yeah. Okay. That's all that matters. It's yeah. all there. Well, okay, I'm good. So, do we have any more comments about this instrument that you can think of? No, I already covered it. It's a nice, uh, clean, unrestored uh, piano. Well, it was rebuilt once, a player, but uh, mm -hmm. nice, uh, it, like I said, diamond in the rough. Okay. And, and in my opinion, I've done this for 45 years. Uh, the Cunningham uh, Scale 5 with the uh, player action that's in it is, mm -hmm. is the best. Yeah. There's, there's none better. Right. And they're the best to work on, and uh, they turn out the best. Yeah. Now, here it says forest, and uh, I don't know the, I don't know enough about Cunningham at this point to tell the difference between the models. Is that a model, or is that... Yeah, he, uh, some of me named after his son. I think one of his name, son's name was Forrest. Yeah, <laughs> there's a Gerard. And yes, there, Gerard. There, there was a Mashless. I don't think he had a boy named Mashless. <laughs> And then P and E, which is uh, the one back there, as a, it was Painter and Ewing, which yeah. I don't know if they were uh, sons named or not. But the forest I know was one of his sons named. Would you know if there's any difference in construction between no, the forest no, and the No, it's Gerard? just that uh, I mean, the, the P and E don't have the push buttons and all this gimmick stuff on it. You think this one has the, more gimmicks than the Gerard? Yeah, yeah. It's like a car. You can get a car with a six owner or with a VA. Uh, you know, all this custom stuff. The same thing with a piano. Yeah. But I know. the basic piano, same piano, same skill. Right. Yeah. Okay, well, I'm good. I, I Thank you so much. This has been really yeah, interesting. Yeah, I, I can't think of anything else to tell you. Yeah, <laughs> all right. Very good.